Now, uh, Cliff, I know how much you love to crap on Republicans, and I don't. Did you catch the uh, like a Shiza video? Yes, exactly. Did you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll post that on uh, Majority.fm. <laughs> did you uh, catch the uh, Republican debate last night? I sadly was uh, on Amtrak, and so I did not. Um, but was this I thing televised? Does anybody even know if this thing was televised? Matt, do you know? Uh, I believe it was. I saw people talking about it as if they were watching it. it maybe it was on C-SPAN. Maybe it was on... Um, it was in South Carolina, right? Right. Did uh, Strom Thurmond participate? Or no. Or is he buried at sea, too? I, <laughs> I think they... I think they, they... Did they hold the... Did they bury him under the? Uh, they they wheel his. They, they put him underneath the. Uh, they put him underneath the uh, stage. Um, well, in case you missed it, folks, um, and and I must admit I did too because, well, um, Fox News showed it. Fox News showed it. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry I missed that. Um, but uh, fortunately, the ethically and follically challenged Frank Luntz. Uh, was <laughs> on the scene to uh, give us one of his expert um, panels. This is uh, a, a group of Americans who reflect America. Does anybody want to give me the racial breakdown in South Carolina? Um, Much more black than the Republican debate. Well, uh, the, uh, Frank Luntz guessing. assembled, uh, maybe this is the Democrat, the Republican Party, I should say. Frank Luntz assembled 23 Republican, I guess, potential primary voters. Uh, coincidentally, and this is going to come as a shock to everybody, they were all white. Surprise, surprise. In fact, the <laughs> there were more black people on the stage running for the uh, Republican nomination than there were actually who were going to be voting for him. There was 23 white people assembled in a room. Uh, and here is, let's play the first clip from the... Um, focus group watching this debate uh and uh, here it is frank luntz is going to be stunned uh here it is sean we got 29 of the most oh, important people stop in that for a second that is my i apologize folks 29 white people uh in a room uh i'm sorry that that is almost what, what what's the percentage there? Uh, uh, 29 uh, of 29? No, I'm saying I, I I underestimated the amount of white people in that room by almost 25%. I'm, I'm 20%. A little, there a little you disappointed go. in you. Not a math. But it, but but you did it was fair you made that mistake cuz it was white sheet night. Uh, That's right. In, uh, <laughs> there you go. Yes. They actually had uh, a couple of people under one sheet. There were and discounts so, uh, <laughs> in, at Walmart and some people had to run out. <laughs> There you go. All right, so let's uh, go dial it back uh, to use Frank Lund's terms and uh, so, Oh, sorry, Sam. There you go. <laughs> No, 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 I'm saying the sound. Ah, gotcha. Go ahead. <clears throat> Sean, we got 29 of the most important people in America sitting right behind me right, right now. People. Let's go right to them. Who won the debate? Let's go in alphabetical order. How many of you think Herman Cain won the debate? Everybody. Well, we can them. stop right there. Everybody. John, raised their I want hand. a word or phrase to describe Herman Cain. He answers the question most direct a breath of fresh air, common sense, <laughs> talking points, no real solutions, clear and concise, very impressive. He had an understanding of what it takes to run the government be a candidate. The godfather of business sense, and he can attack Ooh. Obama well. He'll give us a clear-cut uh, clear plan on which way to take America. How many of you walked in here with Herman Cain as your number one choice? Raise your hands. One person raises his hand. One of you. How many of you are walking out of here with Herman Cain as your number one choice? 25. Raise your hand. Now, this is unprecedented. Pizza your other he hand. was not a real candidate before tonight. No. What happened? Well, he is now. He talked exactly correctly on taxation a, and on free markets and leadership. He has a plan. He has a plan. He's articulate, and he, and he knows exactly what we need. Now, I have an alternate theory as to why Herman Cain <laughs> might have appealed to this group of 29 <laughs> Uh, white uh, South Carolinians. They were scared of him? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's not. They all thought they were going to get a free pizza coupon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I think this is um, <laughs> what, what is known as the, uh, isn't it the Wilder effect that they talked about? That's right. right? The, uh, what is a the few, Wilder effect? A few effect? of them were probably thinking, them, thinking themselves, did I lock the back porch door before I left? <laughs> the, <laughs> the idea is like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be for the black guy. Uh, yeah. Now, I wonder if uh, in the South Carolina primary, if Herman Cain actually makes it that far. And, he, you know, that's 
what is it, like the fourth primary, right? Uh, it is, right? Yeah, it's a in right, the Republican. The fourth, yeah, I think so. I think it goes Iowa, New Hampshire. And there's then, one out west, isn't there? Uh, yeah, yeah. It may Ooh. be the third, but it, it, I'm think, I don't remember. There is there is one out west. I don't remember if it's Nevada or. And uh, it could very well be. Uh, I, I am willing to bet you uh, everything I own, which is essentially in this room, actually, <laughs> uh, at this point, uh, a cliff. And maybe you won't take this bet, but I'm willing to bet you that um, Herman Cain does not get uh, whatever the percentage of 24 out of 29 is th in South Carolina. I'd like to take the bet just because there's some amazing, amazing stuff in this room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do these two guys come with it? Sure, of I, course. I, believe I, me. I definitely need some. some no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but um, uh, no, I can't take that bet because I don't, I don't think he's going to get anything, anything close. I mean, no, I think he'll get maybe 2%. Yeah. I mean. uh, let's go now and listen to the second clip uh, where we can actually hear what Herman Cain had to say that got all these. Uh, these 29 uh, white South Carolinians, the most important people in America, according to Frank Luntz. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Back to the antebellum period. Huh? Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, let's see what got them all uh, so excited. Sean, I want to show you this one clip where he talked. Uh, it scored incredibly high. It was actually the highest dialed moment. Let me borrow this. The red line represents conservatives. The green line represents slightly less conservative. The higher that they <laughs> turn the their dials, the, the more favorable the reaction. This is Herman Cain at his best. Let's take a look. One of the biggest problems we have with this country right now today is too much government intervention in trying to tell businesses how to do what they do best, which is create jobs. Government doesn't create jobs. Businesses create jobs. We need to get government out of the way, including trying to tell a company where they should build a new plant. Build a new plant. You guys agree with that? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Now, there's a little backstory to this. Uh, at least to the government telling him where they should do a plant. You, maybe you're aware of this uh, National Labor Relations Board suit against Boeing, which has stated publicly, we're going to leave uh, Seattle, I think it is, or somewhere right. in the Seattle neighboring yeah, area, yeah. Uh, and go to South Carolina because um, uh, unionized workers uh, complain too much. And that is against, actually, the uh, National Labor Relations Board uh, regulations and laws. Well, you, like, you know, unionized workers like to eat and stuff, and that, uh, that does suck. And so they want to move to South Carolina. That's what Herman Cain's talking about. The, the rest of the stuff uh, is just jibber-jabber. Right. I have no idea what he's talking about. Government doesn't create jobs. Well, somehow we've lost almost 400,000 uh, government jobs in the past year. Well, you and also might want to look on the stage with him because there are probably a bunch of governors and senators on there. So my guess is the government did create their jobs. That's right. So and a little common sense there. And know. I guess, <clears throat> you know, um, when people pick up your uh, trash, or when they protect your fire, uh, right. your house from fire, right. or when they protect you from bad guys, or when they build your streets, uh, when they uh, make sure that your water is fine. I guess when they do, when they check your food to make sure it's not poison, when they help the airplanes right. land, when they uh, uh, make sure that the, uh, I mean, on and on well, and on. I think we should be the first here to say on the majority report, because it's important, that what Herman Cain, the translator, has actually said is the Navy SEAL guys that killed Osama bin Laden don't have real jobs. They don't have real jobs. They're, they're a bunch of home, you know, they're, 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 they're sucking off the rest of us. That, oops, I shouldn't have said that. Sucking <laughs> economically off the rest of us, and, uh, and, and they're lazy, and they're unproductive. And I, I really think, it's, it, to me, it's atrocious that Herman Cain would say that Navy SEALs are such bad people. If Herman Cain, if we can have the vision, if this country could somehow have uh, the, the, the blessing, as it were, since we're talking about a debate in South Carolina, the blessing that Herman Cain could be our president. Maybe we could all have pizza delivery grade jobs. Right. And that'd be, I mean, maybe, maybe we could actually send Godfather's Pizza in to get Osama bin Laden the next time. There we go. Because that would have been, you know. So uh, let's move on from the Republican debate because there was no one there. You know, look, I appreciate there was a couple of Republicans there who said get out of Afghanistan, uh, get out of Iraq, uh, and I'm, I'm on board with that. Did Good. Anybody, just a question because I didn't, I didn't catch it. Did anybody else besides Gary Johnson uh, say that? Ron Paul. Oh, right, of course. Okay. Ron Paul did. So we had two, at least on these issues, sane 
Yeah, and apparently, you know, I had a, a, a YouTube that uh, apparently the Ron Paulites uh, were, were up in arms that I said he has no chance of winning uh, the, the, uh, in becoming president. Listen, God bless you, Ron Paulites. I hope your guy wins the nomination. Uh, I know you guys are tireless. I've seen you paint the town, Ron. I've seen <laughs> you uh, put up your, your homemade posters, and I, 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 I'm not mocking you for that. I applaud you for that. Uh, but I got news for you. Your guy's never going to win the uh, nomination unless he runs faster than a man his age without bionic legs can run from the true agenda of the Republican Party, which is about, you know, uh, um, hating gays. And, right. and he needs to rand himself a little bit.